always myself, living things as they are. Shifting out, overlook regaining, as it is, suspiciously, hanging out the laundry, ironing, playing out, out of a bed. It's a stage. You uh, effing world. Uh, I think there's about, I think there's 60 shots in this film in 60 seconds. There's a shot every second in this film. Kind of like, anybody want to tell me what this film was about? Uh, and what's going on? It's kind of like a lot, really a lot of cool things here. I think she wants to say something. And uh, yeah, these are kind of really kind of interesting films because you got to watch it like three or four times to kind of take everything in, I guess. There's a little bit of nudity in it too. Go ahead. I was so confused. But to like to the credit, amazing editing, and like I really liked what they what I think by the end of it, I was I got what I think they were trying to do. And my first impression was this sounds like a writer trying to procrastinate writer's block, like dealing with writer's block and like all the things you think about when you don't want to do your job. Um, but but I think everyone's been there at some point. They just condensed it into one minute, yeah. and uh, I, I give them kudos for like really getting into the mind of the passing thoughts that go through your brain when you're, you know, trying to avoid something. And that's kind of where I thought it was, but maybe I'm misreading it. No, I think you, for me, I think I would go to the fourth row. I think you got it because I think it's it's about that, but it, tone-wise they make it work because it's if it's longer it's a little bit wanky because nobody wants to hear about a writer's problem. But basically doing it like that kind of makes it cool and interesting. So I interpret it as like, a statement about society, about like, <laughs> but basically how we move on very quickly from one thing to another to another to another, and so, and I think it particularly like sprinkled in there. He talks about uh, there's something about like religion, hope, despair, that like so very deep feelings, yeah. um, but are passed over very quickly. And then you have sex and drinking, and um, so a lot of moments that are some of them are deep. Some of them are shallow. They're mixed in together. We start the thing started off with very like um, superficial things of I put, put this here, I put that there, and then it moves into more like to deeper feelings. Yeah. Um, and so to me, it was just maybe it's just because you know like this is the things that I'm thinking about recently. It's about how a lot of our experiences we just take in, take in, take in, and like we just move on to the next, move on to the next kind of thing. And so to me, that's what it was about. It's just like quick, quick, quick experiencing things and moving on without yeah. absorbing things. No, totally. It's like with these type of films, uh, like, the, like the poetry film and this film, which is experimental in nature, it's not a narrative story. If, you, if it grabs your attention, then whatever's going on in your conscious or whatever you're feeling, you're going to grab hold of those emotions as well. It's a tough film to do, but if it succeeds, it really does. I just feel like I've had, like I was listening to and it sounded crazy and I loved it, but like I feel like if I said out loud all the thoughts that came into my mind while I was scrolling through like the homepage of Instagram with all the little thumbnails, I feel like it would be the same thing like, ooh, bubbles, death, sex, vacation. I, was, like, I kind of felt like in a way like my mind does that sometimes because you're so overstimulated and there's so much to like bring up thoughts but you're just like scrolling through. So for me, I just thought of it that way. I was like, I must sound like that inside my head sometimes. <laughs>